Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Um, today is going to be my last recapping of 2021 uh, video that I am going to do in this short series of, I think, three or four videos. Um, today we're going to talk about the categories in which I made the most money in 2021. It's going to be a much shorter video than yesterday. Yesterday's ran really long in almost 20 minutes. But um, anyways, before I get into it, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to share uh, any, uh, like your top stuff that went on in 2021, leave some comments down below. Let me know what was your guys' top category. Um, mine will come as no surprise for anyone that has been watching my channel for a while. You guys know I specialize in grocery. So, uh, you know, obviously that's where I'm going to make the most money. So we're going to dive into this right now that I'm back on um, Inventory lab. So to see this report, you know, I didn't show yesterday either. You go to reports. This is category profitability. If you want to see whom you're buying stuff from, you go to supplier profitability, and that will pull up your top suppliers. All right. So here we go with, you know, grocery. Uh, like always, I'm always talking about grocery products. Sold 16,000, almost 16,100 uh, grocery items last year. Um, and I sell a lot of bundles, so this isn't like individual like bottles of barbecue sauce or salad dressing or whatever. This is 16,087 Amazon ASINs. So um, I probably buy, I don't want to quite say double because I sell a lot of two packs, three packs. But um, you know, probably sold closer to like 25,000 grocery items if you want to talk individual product. Um, had 432 returns, which isn't that bad. You know, if you look at the disparity between toys and grocery, there's not a lot of grocery returns. Amazon doesn't accept, you know, they say they don't accept grocery returns. But if people get stuff that's damaged or whatever, if they just call Amazon, they'll they'll return that. I typically just give customers a return. They're like, oh, I got this $10 thing. Um, it came busted. Um, I'll just give them a return just to you know, provide good customer service and save them some time and whatnot. So that's $825 I spent in merchant fulfilled shipping. It's a lot of candy and stuff like that that I sold merchant fulfilled. But you can see 222 and a half thousand or 0.5 thousand um, dollars in revenue in grocery. Almost half my revenue came out of the grocery department, if you want to call it that. And I profited $42,528 in the grocery category. And again, my ROI is about 53%. So for those of you that don't understand ROI, for every dollar I spent, I profited $1.53. And I currently have uh, 1,488 uh, items on hand. I've got a, quite a bit of stuff about seven or 800 items Amazon hasn't checked in. About 500 of that total has been sitting there for over a month. But, um, you know, I do have product going. I've got 10 boxes of pretty much all groceries sitting in my driveway waiting for UPS to pick it up. So we've got toys. So 700 or 7,444 toys. 283 were returned, which is quite a bit. A little bit of merchant fulfilled. I mean, that's really not too bad, but, you know, I'd like this to be a lower number. Um, sold $140,000 worth of toys, and um, you know that's Amazon sale price. And I profited $29,000 selling toys, 50% ROI, and I still got 421 items on hand for toys. You know, so um, you know right now is for me personally isn't really a great time to source toys. I like to wait until all the clearance is gone before I start sourcing toys again because the, the prices just drop so fast that um, you know, I'm a little cautious on that. Um, next would be beauty at 1,704 units sold, 66 returns, $350 merchant fulfilled, and I sold $22,558 worth of beauty products. I made a good chunk of change though, $4,700 profit, and almost a 63% return on investment. I still got quite a bit on hand, um, and that's because I've been sending in a ton of stuff from Sally's Beauty, and a lot of this just has isn't available for, for purchase yet. 
Um, beauty is a category I want to focus more on in 2022. You know, I want to get back to using Sally's Beauty quite a bit. So uh, next for pet products, I got 868 um, units sold, only 16 returned. That's extremely good numbers as far as return units. Um, 17,500 in sales, and I made 52% ROI, almost $3,600 in pet products. And this almost exclusively is um, is some bundles I have. I get pet products from um, grocery outlets, of course, Chewies. If you watch yesterday's video, um, I do Chewies. A little bit at Walmart, not too much. A little bit from Target, but not very much. It's mainly grocery outlet and Chewies right here. Um, apparel, this is Walmart, uh, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. Maybe a little bit of Ross, but it's almost nine times out of ten, those three stores. Um, sold almost 17000 and uh, made $3,200. 44% ROI is not that great, but clothing is very good filler because I sell like a lot of um, glass products sometimes, like if I find it or not, like mugs and stuff like that. So this is actually really good padding to go with your kitchen products, which takes us to the next category. Sold 936 units, and you can see the return rate is so much lower than apparel, you know, because I sold uh, 80 items more, and I had um, 19 items less returned. But I made um, $2,550, oh, $2, 60% return on investment. I still got about 79 items in stock. This is actually a few things I get from like Ross or D's, but this is pretty much just one brand that I get from Walmart. Actually, I did get quite a bit of stuff from the 99 cent store, come to think of it, um, you know, around the middle of the year. So that's probably included in here as well. Home is kind of lumped in with kitchen. Some kitchen stuff goes here. And then you got like blankets and quilts and stuff like that that I sold a lot of Q1 last year. And I made $1,124 in that in um, 2021. In health and beauty, kind of I mix it in in my head anyways with regular beauty. So another 300 items here, $840 profit. You see I only got like eight units left. The rest of the stuff, I don't really have nothing in stock. Shoes, this was probably all uh, sandals and uh, maybe some Crocs I sold during the summer. Uh, maybe some slippers that I had left over from Christmas last year. But I made $683 in shoes and only 25 returned. And you can see this is why I don't really do much shoes anymore. That's one in four pair basically were returned. So I don't really mess with shoes a whole lot anymore. But you can see if you wanted to get into shoes, I was making over $6 a pair if you want to do the math. But because returns, my ROI is really low at barely 30.62% 30, because 30 that's a lot of returns. Video games, sold 110 games. I get a lot of games from Five Below, um, Walmart. Um, I think that was about it. I might have sold some of my own personal games as well. I got a few games on Black Friday. Then I sold Merchant Fulfilled, as you can see here. But I still made $355 on video games. DVDs, I sold about 80 DVDs, made almost $300. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're interested in selling media, I did a video about a year and a half ago on how I was able to get ungated in DVDs and CDs. I don't really sell any CDs, but um, I invested. I took like a $500 loss, but, um, you know, I've probably made about $1,000 profit since I took that loss whenever I got negated in the two products. And you can see almost 100% ROI. So I got almost $2 back for every dollar that I spent. Um, you know, baby products. This was mainly some cups and a few things I might get at Dee Dee's discounts. But I uh, made $160 in the baby products. You know, that's less than $2 an item. And I think those were mainly some sippy cups. Sports, I don't sell a whole lot of sports, but 36 for $145, the return on investment is really high. This is almost exclusively from Ross. You know, Lawn and Patio, Home and Garden didn't make very much, about $200 combined. You know, BIS is kind of a random category. 
Luggage, about 40 bucks. That's probably backpacks. Office products, about 31 bucks. Music, about $30. You know, sold uh, one speaker, one thing in lighting. Arts and crafts, I sold 16 things. Did do well, as you can see. Made less than a dollar each. A lot of that's because of the returns. I think this was an item that Amazon tanked the price on, if my memory serves me correctly. But um, this is what I did last year to um, you know, provide for my family and stuff. It's something everybody can do. Um, it's a lot of work. You know, don't get me wrong, it is a lot of work doing Amazon. It's not a quick, get quick, rich scheme. But, um, you know, as you can see, grocery and toys are my bread and butter. And grocery, I recommend everybody do grocery because there's just so much consistency to it. It's easier to predict, you know, than other categories, like how many you can sell and stuff. So I recommend everybody get into grocery. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope this gives you guys some good ideas of where you should spend your time sourcing at different stores and um, things like that so you can grow your business. So make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.